Well, here we go again. This uh, furnace, it's early in the morning, seems to not be working. You can probably hear it, the blower's going, but there's no heat. So the temperature in the house has uh, come down quite a bit. I haven't looked at it yet, um, but I thought I'd create another video as a follow-up to the last video where uh, I got in here and cleaned off the flame sensor, changed out the filter, just looked at some basic things. I'm starting to suspect that there's an issue with the, uh, the switch in here for the gas valve, but we'll do a deeper dive. There's some things that I'll do and I may call in a technician on this one. If I do, uh, then we'll, we'll get it on video and, and you know, again, hopefully uh, everyone can learn from this. So the first thing we're going to do is jump in here and take a look at the uh, status light indicator and see what it tells us. And then uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully this will help you out and we'll dive into it. So this is the status light indicator and you can see it's blinking twice. So I'll pull this panel off and we'll see what two blinks mean. So here's the diagnostic indicator and you'll see how it says two flashes and if we read down on it, it says system lockout, no flame. And it says check line polarity. This is an upward look at the um, at our gas line right here. Here is our gas uh, switch up here, and I suspect the board must be in here. Now I was told to check the voltage coming in to the switch, which I believe is coming in off these two lines. And I do have a multimeter with me, uh, but first we are going to uh, turn this on and see what happens. So you can hear the, the blowers running. And if we take a look at our status indicator down here, is what we saw to begin with, um, right here. This uh, steady flashing light is telling us that everything's in normal operation. And what we should see is the thermostat will send a signal uh, which should be a call for heat, and then this will go to fast, go to a flash, a fast flashing light, and we'll wait for that to happen. Uh, might take a minute or so. Now you can see the fast flashing light. So that took maybe 20, 30 seconds. And at this point, um, you should see the call for heat. And there you go, you can see the igniter light up. And what we should hear, there you just heard that little click. And that should be the gas. But we have no light. Hmm. Let's see if we can hear the uh, call for gas or the switch. So we could hear it, but again, no gas. So, is it a bad board? the sticky switch I don't know um, I'm gonna go ahead and check the uh, voltage and we're gonna see what we have going into it from what I understand we should have uh, 20 volts so I pulled these two wires off the switch and I used my multimeter to measure what was coming in off them and uh, it was showing zero now it might very well be that, I, I didn't know if it would be continuous power going to it, or it's just intermittent depending on when there's a call for heat. Uh, because we can hear the actual switch, I'm not thinking that's our problem. I mean, it could be. I'm sure an HVAC tech would know for certain, but um, I flipped this back on. There's our igniter glowing. I don't expect anything to happen. I want to hear if I hear, see if we hear a switch for the gas. OK, 
okay, which we didn't. So, and I'm not surprised because we have this disconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off again. And what I'm gonna do is reconnect. I'm gonna reconnect our wires back. And then we are going to uh, fire this up again. Now, you know, I suspect we're hearing our we're hearing the switch, which power might be fine, but maybe maybe it's because if there's not enough voltage, it's not enough to flip the switch, even though we're hearing something. But last time, um, last couple of times I've had this problem. I'd come in here, rotator switch back and forth, tap this a few times, and that would seem to take care of it kind of tells me maybe it's a sticky switch. Although again, I'm not sure what a sticky switch means. I don't know if I can open this thing up. I mean, it looks like we're definitely sealed on both sides and it is gas. So now I do have a main shutoff um, right over here. So my guess is you would shut the gas off over here and then you could work on this, this piece here. So, um, Let's go ahead and all I did was reconnect, tap on this a few times, let's see if we get some heat. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and take our main valve and I'm going to flip that off and flip that back on. Again, I don't know if you can just tap on that and that'll take care of this. Let's see what happens. There goes our igniter. So now we have heat. The question is for how long and uh, why did we all of a sudden start getting heat? You know, I, I still suspect the problem with our switch in here. We'll keep an eye on it and see what happens.